Hey guys, welcome back to Pristine Auto Detailing. Today we're going to be cleaning up some WeatherTech floor mats without a pressure washer. Alright guys, let's get these things cleaned up. They, most of the trucks that come in here do have the WeatherTech. Sometimes we'll get the Husky mats in, but they're mostly, generally WeatherTech mats. Uh, and they, they usually look like this. Uh, so we're going to clean them today without the pressure washer. Usually, if you can, it's probably better to use the pressure washer, especially for the final rinse. Uh, that way you can get in all the grooves and stuff. Uh, but we're going to see how good we can get them with just uh, basically a brush. So a typical tough shine like tire brush uh, and a hose and then some stoner all-purpose cleaner uh, and we'll see how see how good we get them. Typically what I'll do is rinse them all first, try to get off some of the heavy dirt. Rinse them both off good. Even if, I, ne I usually don't do it this way so it's, I usually pressure wash them first. These are pretty, these are pretty bad. After that, we'll soak them good with a uh, stoner all-purpose cleaner. This already comes concentrated. It, you don't have to dilute it at all, especially for something like this. You don't really want to dilute it. Uh, if you have an actual degreaser, uh, <coughs> that would be safe to use on these mats. This is just an all-purpose, so it's not quite as strong as like a degreaser, heavy degreaser. <laughs> Does make, it does make you choke though. If I was wearing my respirator, I wouldn't be able to talk to you. You can let them soak for a little bit, a little bit if they're really bad, but eh, we don't have time for that today. All right, got them soaked pretty good. Let's take our brush, scrub the heck out of them. Even if we do pressure wash them, we typically, typically will still scrub them. This is probably the worst area on these mats is this groove right here. That always is the hardest to get dirt out of these mats. And just keep, you can never scrub too much with these mats. It's the first time using the, <coughs> excuse me. It's the first time using the lapel mic. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right and the audio isn't horrible. The worst part of working in this garage and trying to shoot a video is the echo is just, it's just awful. We'll see how these look after we get them all clean. See how they look once we get them all clean and maybe we'll try if they're sometimes they're real faded if they're real faded we might have to put some kind of trim restoration on them all right let's fast forward this is taking a while <laughs> the power drill does work pretty good uh, but for like it doesn't since it spins around like I have a brush that you can put on the pout like a cordless drill uh, <laughs> But it spins in a circle and it's hard it doesn't get really in these grooves really well uh, I think the brush probably works better than the power drill uh, at least where there's a lot of grooves All right, so we got them mostly scrubbed down We'll rinse them off and we might have to scrub them again I always like to rinse the back just in case. Sometimes guys will put their weather, their floor weather tech mats in after their carpet's already trashed uh, and the back sides will get all muddy. Looks good wet, but dry might be another story. All right, 
right. Probably, I just put dirty mats back on my, or clean mats back on a dirty table. Probably be comments below. <laughs> All right, usually I'll hang these up to let them dry. That way I can inspect them later. Uh, but I'm gonna speed up the process with a little bit of air. That way I can see how, how clean they are and if I need to hit them a little bit more. All right, waited a few hours. The mats look really, really good. Uh, it didn't look this good until I used the solution finish. This is how it looked after I scrubbed it and let it dry. Uh, you can get a little bit better with a pressure washer, especially in these grooves. I scrubbed the heck out of this thing twice uh, and it still looks like this. All this wear, it just embeds into the WeatherTech material, uh, whatever kind of rubber this is. I wish they would remake it somehow so it doesn't do that, but uh, it's pretty common, especially on work trucks. Uh, if you're looking just to clean your mats up and head back off to the job site and get back to work. That's probably good enough. Uh, but for detail wise, when a customer picks up his truck, we'd like to have it looking something like this. Back in the day, what would we do? Uh, we would just tire shine this baby and it'd be gloss black for weeks. <laughs> uh, but that really isn't the safe way to go. Yeah, it'd look good for a little bit, uh, but you get out, step on your running board, you're slipping and sliding everywhere, everywhere, and your girlfriend gets in the truck and she's about falling out the door. Uh, so tire shine is not recommended for floor mats, no matter what kind of floor mat it is. Um, like I said, I wish they did redesign the WeatherTech mats so they didn't get so bad so quick. Uh, I had a couple customers say that the Husky mats are a little smoother, a little easier to clean, and they clean up a little easier. I don't know if that's the case. I don't see many Husky mats in here, but typically after we clean them and scrub them, they look like this. Uh, and this would be okay for your typical work truck, but we like to make them look a little bit better. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you're watching this, you want your mats to look like this. Uh, so what we use is Solution Finish. Uh, they also have a, this is the Solution Finish Black. They do have a Solution Finish, I think it's called Fusion Gray. Uh, if any of you have used the Fusion Gray on like the gray WeatherTech floor mats, comment below. I'd be kind of curious to see how it matched up. Uh, did it work out for you guys? Because we haven't gotten in any Solution Finish Gray. Uh, we don't get many gray mats in either. Usually, usually they're black or tan. Um, so anyway, with this product, uh, just get like an old shop towel basically. Uh, and they do recommend wiping everything, all your plastics down with like an IPA to, to remove any oils. These things don't have any oils on them. They're dry and they, this one just absorbed, sucked everything up. I didn't even have much to wipe off uh, as far as excess goes. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can put a little on your towel, a little on the mat, and then basically just wipe it in, wipe it into the mat. You're gonna wanna make sure you wear gloves because this stuff is kind of messy. I'm not going to video this whole thing because it does, it probably does take a good 10 minutes to do one mat and get in all the grooves. I got this little stick here for like areas, areas like here to get in these grooves. It works really good. Some, some kind of pokey thing it works good. But anyway, I'm going to do this mat and then I'll show you the finished product once it's all done. All right, so I got the solution finished all applied. Now I'm just going to go back through and level any excess that might be there. There's really, there's not too much. Uh, with these WeatherTech mats, a lot of it seemed to absorb down into the plastic. So there's not much, not much excess at all. Uh, I'm not getting really much on my hands. I'd still let them dry for a few hours after you do it before you put them back in your truck. Um, <laughs> that way you don't track any kind of black stuff into your grandmother's nice white carpeted room. Um, but all in all, this stuff works amazing on the WeatherTech mats. Husky mats might be a little bit different. They're a little smoother, so you might have to level off a little bit more. And it holds up fairly well. I would say once these things get back to how they looked earlier in the video all muddy, you're probably gonna have to scrub and do this again. It's just, it doesn't, nothing lasts forever. Uh, so I'd give it a couple months and 
you probably could do this again on a work truck. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any better ways of cleaning mats, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we're always up for new ideas, tips and tricks. I just hope I can help one of you guys out that have WeatherTech mats uh, and wanted to figure out how to clean them. Clean them. It's pretty, pretty basic all in all. Uh, the, the key is the solution finish to finish them off for that nice Instagram picture. But anyway, guys, hope to upload again next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe if that's something you're into. And uh, we'll catch you later.